So I want to share with you now the process that I use. It's not the process. It's just one way to start the meditation on the Psalms. So first, I get the most important thing is the words. So I'll use Bible Gateway, come to Psalm 32, pick a Bible, and down below, we've got the words. I know it's blatantly obvious, but they have no notes. The words were very important to them. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. So I just want to share with you, bear with me for a few seconds here. In the Hebrew, they divide up the verses. There's this space in between. I'll uh, put a little green line here, and you see there's two halves to it. Now, Sorry for showing you Hebrew, but let's go back to the King James. They don't actually have the space in there. What we'll do is go to the New King James. Hit the search. And now the translation doesn't have the verse across the whole line. I'll just zoom out a bit. They've uh, pushed enter a few times uh, within each verse. So we're going to grab this one and then we're going to look at it. So. I'll just copy and paste this. Sometimes I type it out because it gets my mind thinking on it more. And I paste it into any uh, Word document. I usually paste without formatting. It strips out some of that extra stuff. So uh, I'll usually quickly get rid of the numbers. There were no numbers. Now I want to show you just a little hint of, of some of the poetry here. So I'll just make it bigger. Too big. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. I'm just going to take this and uh, we'll add a little color to the background of it there. Okay. So blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered, and whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. Okay. What I've done here is pointing out in these three lines, it's repeating the same idea three times. This is like the, the thought rhyme of the psalm. So blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. That's the same thing. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord or Yahweh does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Uh, we'll continue this in the next video. The point of this is to get the words, the most important part of the psalm, and to uh, start to pick out the uh, thought poetry that's there, the parallelism, where it's repeating ideas. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.